Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about learning vector quantization. So, learning vector quantization is a kind of uh, network that is similar to self-organizing map saw. So, here you will be having a set of cluster units, cluster of in a, a set of input neurons. And we are going to find the distance between the input pattern that is presented between the cluster units. We may be using either an uh, Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance function. Anything is fine. And uh, with that, we will be selecting one winning unit. But the difference between this song and learning vector quantization is, uh, this learning vector quantization is totally a supervised learning model. We exactly know that for this input pattern, this is the cluster it belongs to. Okay, so whereas SOM is an unsupervised learning model and here we follow the process of winner takes the all. It is a competitive network. We are going to uh, conduct the competition between all the clusters for the input pattern that is presented and whichever is the winning unit, here winner takes the all. Okay, whatever is the winning unit that takes everything. But what happens with that of your uh, supervised, uh, sorry, SOM self-organizing map is that uh, we go ahead with this topology preservation way. The winner unit along with the nearby units, the weights will be updated. We, we don't have that top, topological preservation over here. So this is a supervised learning pattern and it is a uh, pattern, pattern clustering unit. Like we have a cluster's output and the input pattern. We find the distance between the input pattern and the cluster unit. Okay. And the architecture is same as that of your self-organizing map where your architecture will look like this. Uh, you will have some set of input neurons, uh, all x. And you will have the cluster unit. Cluster unit will be the final one. And it is supervised learning. Supervised learning in the sense for each and every uh, input pattern, it is associated with the target value. Okay, we know for this input pattern, this is the cluster it belongs to. So this is known fact. And if there is a winning unit, so once we find the distance between the presented input pattern and the cluster, okay, uh, we just find the distance between them. And whichever is the minimal, we choose that as the best one, right? So, after choosing the winning unit, if it is the target that is needed, okay, so first we present the input pattern and check what output it present, which cluster it is coming and if it is same, what we do, we just update the weight, we enhance the weight between that vector, we bring those clusters closer and for those, if it is uh, predicting and uh, like if it is, if the output that predicted is not equal to the target value, then we just move away. So, that is the policy of your learning vector quantization. Uh, you will understand when I explain this algorithm. Okay. So now this is the process. First we are going to initialize. Uh, for initializing weight in a learning vector quantization, what we usually do is we just try to consider some input patterns. Okay. So whatever is, like you have some set of input patterns to be presented to the net, right? So we try to take something and assign that as a weight vector and we start the process of it. So first step is initialization. We try to initialize the weight matrix and the learning rate. Okay, so once it is done, you will be having some n number of uh, input patterns to be presented to the net. So first we will be checking for the stopping criteria. The stopping criteria might be the number of uh, times or the number of iterations needed or anything it might be. And for each and every input pattern, so first begin, initialize all this. Okay, initialize the learning weight, initialize the weight matrix and then we test for the stopping criteria. It is, uh, if we haven't reaches the number of uh, iterations needed, we'll go ahead with the process. So this is the process. And what we do in the process is, for each and every training path, we take, we assign the values for all this x and try to find the distance between this x and the cluster unit. Okay, so j denotes the cluster unit and i denotes all your input pattern. Okay, so here I have used this Euclidean distance function. So the distance function is for each and every cluster unit, we have to take the input minus the weight vector value, the whole square that will just preserve the negative values out of it. Okay, so after finding the uh, like one input pattern is presented and we calculate for all the j's here. Okay, so we'll just get the value of what is the value of j here, what is the value of this cluster here and we try to choose the minimum one as the winning unit, whichever has the minimum Weight vector, we chose that as this capital J denotes you know, it is the winning unit. Okay, and as I told you, this learning vector quantization is a supervised learning model. So, for the input that I have presented, I already know which cluster it belongs to. So, we verify whether the target and the winning unit is same. Okay, if it is same, 
what we said if it is same we are going to bring that closure closure in the sense we are going to update the weight with a positive value of your calculations okay so a new weight will be like the matrix that consists of if this is the cluster that is a winning unit and it is the target that is needed all those links that are joining this winning unit right it will be updated with a positive value or positive amount of learning value that actually denotes that we are going to bring the cluster close to the pattern okay but if it is not predicting clearly we are going to try to take it away we use a negative value for the weight updation so that is the difference okay so what we do in self organizing map is we go ahead with updation of weight with the positive value of all the winning unit and the nearby neurons but here in case of learning vector uh, learning vector quantization what we do we just choose one unit as a winning unit we try to check whether that is the equivalent target which is needed if it is equal we try to update or uh, like you just try to bring that more closure okay so we update with it a positive value so that next time when we present similar value it falls into the same clusters and if it is not predicting clearly we try to move it away we just assign some uh, negative values over here for the incrementation process and what we do for each and every training pack now for each and every iterations see so this five steps will be repeated again and again for all the entire training pack so when my input consists of 10 input 10 uh, data values for all the 10 data values i'm going to repeat this process so the net is going to learn it accordingly and finally what i do after this 10 elements to be iterated see i may have x1 x2 all my number of uh, Uh, training for S1, S2, S3. All this is updated. I will be iterating it again and again for more updation. Okay. So when I am just doing it for the second iteration, I will try, try to reduce the learning rate value so that the function is already learned. Right. We don't want to uh, exaggerate it. So each time with the minimal amount of value, the learning rate will be reduced for it. Okay. And we test for the stopping criteria. Whenever the stopping criteria is failed. Like when we already reach the number of iterations, we are going to stop the process. Okay, so we'll just explain this the same with an example so that you'll understand it better. Now I hope the architecture is clear, the algorithm and the working mechanism is clear. It is exactly like self-organizing map, the working mechanism. So we we form we just follow this Euclidean distance method for finding the distance between the input pattern that is presented to that of the output cluster unit, and if it is correctly predicting, then we are going to bring it closer using a positive weight updation and if it is not correctly predicting then we go ahead with the negative one we are going to take it away so that is the actual process of your learning vector quantization so it is a supervised learning model and here we don't consider topology winner takes all okay so only one winning unit is considered and based on the winning unit we are going ahead with the weight updation okay thank you